Hi there, I'm Joy Malik, and I'm here to show you how to do a soul collage reading. Now the link to your PDF, which will facilitate your reading, is directly below this video. So once you're done watching here, just click on the link and get started with your own soul collage reading. Now in soul collage, we actually create physical collage cards that comprise a deck that we can pull from anytime we want to do a reading. So I've scanned and uploaded my card here. Now the PDF I have here is just like the one that you're going to download, with the exception that there's a different collage on this PDF from the one that you'll be using. And that's because I'm actually going to do a reading here with you to demonstrate, and I don't want the way that I'm reading the images to influence you during your own reading. Now the first step is to identify your question. Below the collage on your PDF, you'll see that there's a space to write your question down. Now the question you pick can be anything. It can be about your life, your work, relationships, emotions, but it's important to keep your question an open-ended one instead of a yes or no question. So I like to start my questions with how or what. For example, how can I get through this difficult time? Or what do I need in order to thrive? There's no question too big or too small, and I encourage you to think about an area of life where you're facing a struggle or an opportunity and let the question come out of that. For my reading, I'm going to ask a question that I used to ask a lot, how can I navigate my limitations? Now if you're accessing this PDF from a computer, you can just click below the heading here, as well as here and here, and you'll see fields appear that you can type right into. Just remember to save the PDF when you're done so that you don't lose the text that you've entered. And if you're on your phone, I recommend zooming in on the image, the collage up here, and then grabbing your journal or a piece of paper to record your reading. All right, so the second step is to begin your reading with the prompt here on the left. Uh, I am the one who. We're going to complete that sentence from the point of view of the collage. So we slip into our intuitive imagination and slide right into the card, speaking from it. So as I look at my card, I see a woman, um, looks like she's hip deep in water, raising a cup to her mouth. I see what looks to me like a pretty rocky, barren landscape and I see camels crossing a desert. Now sometimes I slide into one image at a time to answer the prompt, and sometimes I speak from the card as a whole. When I intuitively slip into this woman image, I want to say, I am the one who is thirsty. I am the one who has been parched a long time. I am the one who sees nourishment and dives in. So now I'm going to look at the camels and speaking imaginatively for them I say I am the one who knows how to go far with little. I am the one who carries resources with me as I go. Now I could speak from this landscape here but it isn't really speaking to me today so I'll just let it contribute to the feel of the card. You can write as many answers to the prompts down here as you like. I tend to keep going until it feels complete to me. So third, we move over to the other prompt, I have come to remind you. Now here, I'm going to be speaking from the point of view of the card to myself. So the card is saying, in essence, I have come to you, Joy, to remind you. All right, looking at the card as a whole, I want to say, I have come to remind you that there are oases in the desert, that you know how to dive into nourishment, that your soul carries an oasis within. And for the sake of time, that feels complete to me. So you can make your reading as long or as short as you want it to be. Just keep going until it feels complete. 
Now the last step is to take a moment to check back in with your question and then read the completed reading as a response. So I'll do that now with mine. My question was, how do I navigate my limitations? And the answer from my reading is, I am the one who is thirsty. I am the one who has been parched a long time. I am the one who sees nourishment and dives in. I am the one who knows how to go far with little. I am the one who carries resources with me as I go. I've come to remind you that there are oases in the desert. I've come to remind you that you know how to dive into nourishment. And I've come to remind you that your soul carries an oasis within. Okay, so that's a reading. Keep in mind that this is not about producing a beautiful product. This is simply about the process of listening to your soul. Readings are a space for any and all emotions to be welcome. And during my readings, I'm sometimes surprised by the shape that wisdom takes. There's something about speaking from the point of view of the images in the card that gives us enough distance from all the set ways that our conscious mind has for thinking about our problems, and it taps us into something deeper, the wisdom of the unconscious soul. So go ahead and download your PDF, and may your reading ground you, comfort you, and illuminate the way. <laughs>